What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike Sasser, boudoir photographer here in Los Angeles, California. And let's talk about skin smoothing. A lot of you guys know that I'm all about speed when it comes to my editing. Uh, I try and edit an entire portrait session in under an hour if I can. And that's one of the reasons why I really love to use the software Portraiture to batch smooth all of my images. Uh, it speeds up my workflow, it's super amazing. If you guys are already familiar with Portraiture, there's a video that's linked here to go where you can download the action that I use to use Portraiture to run it on all of my images automatically, which is a huge time saver. But I know Portraiture is pretty expensive. It's around $300 and a lot of people people that's just kind of outside of their budget. And then Lightroom decided to come out with these two separate tools that when used together, basically feels like Lightroom has portraiture built in. And I'm about to show you this quick little hack to make it happen. So the first thing you're gonna need to speed up this workflow is sugar. After that, it's a good preset. It's not really, it's pretty delicious. So this week I'm going to be releasing my very own presets. I'm super excited about it. I've been working on it for six months. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it. So we're gonna go through and use these to edit, edit through our session. Before we get to the skin smoothing, let's go ahead and actually just do a quick edit of all of the pictures. So let's kind of click through here. I actually really like skin and we're gonna drop the exposure just a little bit. That looks pretty nice. Let's go to the next one. We'll probably do the same. Bring the exposure down quite a bit. That's good, one more time. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this, let's kind of play around with what we've got. That looks really beautiful. It's a little brighter. This one's a little blue for this scenario. That looks amazing. We're gonna stick with skin again just because the greens are gonna shine so much more. That looks fine. Uh, this one's gonna take a little bit more, I think. So let's go ahead and put this in here. You guys know if you click Shift M, you can brighten up the faces. So Shift M is this radial tool. We're gonna to be using that later. Get the exposure up, and then when you select on it, you can do just really localized adjustments. So let's go ahead and just do this. Bring the downs, maybe the blacks, boost the vibrance, warm it up a little bit. And that's pretty good for a quick edit. Take a look at these. Uh, yeah, that looks really amazing. Crush is such a stylized look. I really, really love it. Uh, these are some of the black and whites, which look, wow, that looks really amazing. Okay, so let's do Crush here. Uh, that's perfect, straight out of camera. Crush again. And that one looks great. Okay, so how do we smooth the skin? So the first thing is, I'm sure by now most of you have found the texture slider that's in the most recent version of Lightroom. If you bring it down, it just makes it, it definitely smooths the skin, but honestly it makes them look like it's like an 80s glamour shots portrait. And I don't know about you, I think the 90s were the best decade. So that's not gonna work. So let's turn that off. The second level of this is that you can use the texture slider within the radial filter. So we can either click here or again, click Shift M. And we are gonna drag this over her face and then bring the texture slider down this way. Now this is a lot better because it's now localizing it around the radial filter. But the negative is that it's still getting her hair. It's still getting some of her clothes in this situation if we wanted to get, if we wanted to bring it down like this. It's gonna get some of her clothes, and we don't want that. Unless, unless you want that, and then I, then I think I should be worried about you. Okay, so the texture slider is one of the tools that Lightroom introduced. But the second one is this ability to do range masking. Now what's really special about this is you can range mask through color or through luminance. So this is a second level of isolation. So for the skin, what we want is specifically a color of her skin. So we're gonna select on color. It's gonna give us this eyedropper. And with the eyedropper, we're gonna select a point on her skin. And it is going to now only focus on that point in her skin. Now no longer is her hair super smooth. So now you can see just how smooth that her skin is. And then it's not on her clothes, it's not on her hair. So we can play around with where this is. That looks like a pretty good spot. And obviously the texture is too much, but you can just see with this, how it's only affecting the skin. And to see exactly what is being masked, if you hold down the option Alt key and click on this range amount, 
you can see what it is going to be including. Now you can do this with either of these gradients. I'm gonna show you why you'll probably wanna use this gradient if you're doing portraits. Now to go through and do this over and over and over again is actually going to be uh, not a super, super speedy process. So let's go down here. We'll bring the texture down all of the way. We'll change it to a color mask. We're gonna grab our eyedropper and click on this. That is a, that's a pretty fast system, but I know that it could be faster. And in order to make it faster, what we're gonna do is shift, click on all of our images, sync, I'm only gonna do the graduated filters because I don't wanna mess with the radial filters where I brightened up her face in that image. Uh, so we're gonna do this. So we're gonna say synchronize. Now, what you'll see here is this eyedropper tool. When I go to the next image, now it's selected on her hair. What I have to do is then click here on her skin again. Let's go ahead to the next image. Where is the eyedropper now? Do you see it? It's over here in the green. Not gonna cut it. We need to select on her body. So you can go through these pretty quick and just one by one by one, select someplace on their skin and you'll see that you'll be able to get pretty fast at this. So let's go ahead and look at this image. Okay, this is without and this is with. Oh my God, how well does that work? That is crazy to me. Obviously that's too much. If we wanna go ahead and select on this and we'll zoom in again, we can play around with the amount of texture that it's happening with. Something like that in the 40 to 50 range is pretty nice. But how crazy is that, that it can A, uh, do such a good job at smoothing the skin and B, localize it enough to where it really is just on the skin. It's not gonna get in your background. It's not gonna get on the clothes. It's not gonna get in the hair. You'll really be able to have something like portraiture for what is built in to Lightroom. You'll be able to do it very quickly. So let's recap real quick. Step one, have some sugar. Step two, quick edits. Step three, use a gradient, lower the texture. Step four, add a range mask, color, use the eyedropper, select on some skin. Step five, sync that to all of the images. And then step six, go continue to change where the eyedropper lands on every image. And that is how it's done. So if you guys wanna check out those new presets that are coming out, definitely check in the link in the description below. If this video was helpful to you guys at all, go ahead and click that like button. I'd love it if you shared it with somebody that you know, another photographer, let's start saving everybody time so they can focus on you know the more important things in photography. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Let me know how this works for you guys and I will see you in the next video.